Scranton prep started the football season by losing to Valley View, but since then has run off four impressive victories. The latest, a 14-6 win over previously unbeaten North Pocono last Saturday. With each triumph, this 1983 ball club is looking more and more like the team's coach Phil Angeli has taken to the Eastern Conference Championship game the past two seasons. I think it has a lot of the personality of last year's team. Uh, getting a, a quick start last year was important to us. I think this year it's a slower start, but uh, generally the personality of the teams are just basically the same. This week, the Cavaliers take on another unbeaten team in Dunmore, a club for which Angeli knows prep will have to be prepared. You start at base one with them and work against the fundamentals. You try to uh, work with uh, making it as simple as possible for your kids uh, to cover their offensive sets and, and be able to block the many defensive fronts that they give you. So we try to stay as base as possible. Gatto Stadium here in Dunmore may be buck country, but it's also the home field of the Scranton Prep Cavaliers. So that means in Friday night's game, both teams will have the home field advantage. We've uh, been nice enough to uh, have the use of the Dunmore Field also as uh, our home field, and uh, I think our kids feel right at home there. The Prep Dunmore game is one of three on tap this Friday night in the Big 11. We'll have highlights of that game and more on our Friday night scoreboard show at 11 on TV 28. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. After five weeks of the Big 11 high school football season, the Dunmore Bucks are the only unbeaten team in the conference. While Coach Jack Hanses doesn't say he expected to be perfect at this point of the season, he knew in preseason that he had a good football team. Well, we kind of felt we had a good football team, and our, our key factor was being trying to stay free of injuries, and we've been very, very fortunate up to the present time, and we're hoping that uh, things will work out for us Friday night, and we still have a long season ahead of us. A week ago, the Bucks ran their record to 5-0 with a win over their arch rivals, the West Granton Invaders. And now they've got to get themselves up for one more big game this week against the Scranton Prep Cavaliers, a team out to grab a share of Dunmore's lead in the Big 11. Coach Hanses knows his club has to be prepared this week for anything and everything. Well, this is a football team that will be much bigger than our football team. They're very, very well instructed. And they have a great deal of pride and character, and that just shows that the, the coaching staff has done a fine job with them. They've improved tremendously, and uh, we realize we're going to have a tough game on our hands. There will also be a little family rivalry going on on the sidelines of Friday night's game between Hens's and Scranton Prep head coach Phil Angeli. And it's always a rival game uh, with uh, Scranton Prep. Uh, number one is because my brother-in-law is the coach there, and I always tell him the smartest thing I ever did was marry my sister. <laughs> so they've got a fine football team, and it should be an exciting game. The Dunmore Prep matchup is one of three Friday night games in the Big 11. We'll have highlights of that one and more tomorrow night on our award-winning scoreboard show at 11 o'clock. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. Over the past several years, the basketball program at Dunmore High School has become one of the most respected in the area. But now the man who built that program, Conio Cianci, is gone to the University of Scranton where he'll be heading the JV squad. The question many people are wondering, why the switch? I just thought I needed a little bit of a change and the opportunity came about to, have a, to coach at Scranton and uh, when Bob spoke to me I was really interested and hopefully it's going to work out well. What's the biggest problem or the biggest adjustment you have to make going from high school to college? I guess to learn to deal with the, the college youngster, he's a little bit older. Uh, but my philosophy still will be the same. They still want direction. They still want to be disciplined. So I'll go with that philosophy as long as I'm here. Cianci will be working on the staff of Coach Bob Besswar, who's no stranger to success and no stranger to Cianci either. I coached Conio uh, when he played at the university. Ironically, it was not in basketball. It was in baseball. But uh, I've admired him as, as a person. He's a friend of mine, and he's, he's an outstanding coach, and we're just glad to have him with us. At Dunmore, Conio Cianci helped build a solid basketball program. At the University of Scranton, he can only add to what has already been a proud and rich tradition in that sport. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. In Dunmore tonight, white-shirted Bishop O'Hara had little trouble with their crosstown rivals, the Dunmore Bucks. For O'Hara, Romeo Natale with the shot in the lane. The Bruins were ahead 41-20 after three quarters. 
The Bucks got strong play from Sal Marquez with a shot from the left wing. But O'Hara was too strong tonight. Natale, the bounce pass inside to Joe Rossi for the basket. The Bruins go on to win the Battle of Dunmore, 59-38 over Dunmore High. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. In game three, Dunmore and Bishop Hoban, the Lady Bucks took the lead on this jump shot from the key by Marilee Banford. Hoban came back to tie everything up on this jump shot by Becky Barney, and then came the fun. Dunmore is Dolores Sagan at the line. The shot goes up, it rolls around, but won't come down. It has ruled a jump ball and had the crowd buzzing for minutes. Dunmore used good solid pressure to grab an eight-point lead in tonight's third game in the opening round of the District 2 playoff action at Hanover Area High School. In game one, Bishop O'Hara in blue jumps out early when John Maldonado scores from the baseline. The Bruins use some sharp passing in another bucket from Maldonado from the other base to open up an early four-point lead. Dunmore then got their running game going in this contest. The three-on-one results in a Sal Marquez bucket. And then the Bucks with the inside game. Griff Altman rebounds the missed shot, and he would muscle it up for two more Dunmore points. The Bucks get bragging rights in Dunmore for another season, beating the Bruins 37 to 36.